I grew up right as the first generational style of content creation was dying out. This will either be a surprise or a hit of nostalgia to you watching, but when YouTube was just starting with gaming content, most big names would just upload completely unedited 10 to 15 minute segments of gameplay at a time while using the same thumbnail each upload. In the early days of content creation, the bar was pretty low and literally anyone could do it at the same quality and quantity that the big names of the time were. That is now a far cry from today's highly edited, well-polished content that most of the top creators put out on a regular basis. Over the years, the market became overly saturated and forced more people to put more effort into what they were making and those that didn't got replaced by new people that did before you could get to the top by yourself. Now if you don't have at least a small team, your chances are slim. The majority of big creators have at minimum a professional editor, if not more people like a thumbnail artist, maybe even some kind of manager, or are part of a professional organization. The bar has been raised, and if you're not already at this bar, it's extremely difficult to reach it in any meaningful way. Going back to the example of uploading 15 minutes of unedited gameplay from before, that has almost been completely swapped out for longer videos, but those videos are now more like highlights of the entire game, drastically trimmed of any fat and compiled into one, maybe two single videos instead of 20 plus. Realistically speaking, if you don't have at least an editor, then there is no way you can keep up with the quality and consistency that the big names can. And if you know anything about YouTube, if you aren't putting out consistent, good quality content, growing is really difficult. Good editing is so important. And editing takes time, like a lot of time. For me personally, this is time I have to find outside of my day job, any other content creation, looking after my two bunnies, one of which is disabled so she needs a little extra care, and pretty much everything else I have to do to function in life. It would be nearly impossible for me to put out a good quality video once a week, unless you know I want to be a low tier content thief and just do shitty reacts, but I at least have some self respect, so I am putting emphasis on good quality. A basic video of someone just talking about something probably isn't going to keep the attention of anyone anymore unless they trim it down and maybe add things like b-roll or extra visuals with smaller sound effects throughout. This isn't just restricted to YouTube, the same can be said for streaming because of everything else I have to do in life. When I can stream and how long I can stream for is limited. Personally, I only have time to do very simple edits on clips from streams and the occasional YouTube video. And truth be told, this has been at a sacrifice to my social life. Granted, I'm in a dread, so not a big sacrifice. Meanwhile, if I had an editor, the quality and quantity of my videos would increase drastically. But that's not something I can afford. All in all, I'm still pretty small and I don't make nearly enough to even consider going full time, let alone hiring someone else to work for me. If you are fortunate enough to already be a full time success, then staying above the bar is much easier. You can take advantage of anything and everything, thanks to your editor and or team. That's not to say established creators have it easy, they definitely have their own struggles, but it's fair to say the hard part is already done. One thing a lot of big streamers will do is take advantage of what is commonly called the game of the week. This is typically a game that has a lot of hype and if you were to stream it the day it comes out, it would most likely bring a lot of new eyes to you. But this isn't something smaller creators can often take advantage of. If you're lucky, you can maybe pick up some scraps of hype a week later, but the big opportunity has already been missed, and lacking or missing opportunities when you're doing your best to reach your goals can really hurt. And I think, judging from what I've heard of other creators, this is definitely one of the biggest frustrations when it comes to being a small content creator. 
Most small creators are their own editors, thumbnail artists, marketers, researchers, and everything else that goes into something as simple as a video like this. Okay, so post editing small here. Hey, what's up? I also forgot to mention that having the finances to pretty much do whatever idea comes to mind is pretty fucking huge. Personally, I have about 10 different ideas that I would like to do, but they're not financially viable at the moment. So that also comes into play. While the bar might be out of my personal reach right now, I can't bring myself to be upset or mad about it. As they say, a rising tide rises all ships. And I do believe this is true. If the norm was unedited videos of just someone talking, then that's what this video would most likely be. And the video would be worse off for it. Thanks to me trying to reach that bar, I've put in a lot more effort into this and my other work. And I am proud of that. So the message I'd like the creators watching to take away from this video is this. Try not to see the bar being out of your reach as a reason to stop or not even start. Yes, you might have to claw your way up inch by inch to get anywhere close. But you can reach it. Many have and many will. Even if you can't start on equal footing like you could 12 or so years ago, you should keep going and keep trying to get better, bit by bit. And that's about all I have to say in this video. If you enjoyed watching, then be sure to subscribe and maybe consider checking out my live streams. I stream a lot more than I make YouTube content. I would love to see you there. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.